Helicopters are truly fascinating, and if you've ever been in one, you know exactly what we're talking about. These amazing aircrafts are not only exciting, though, they can also be life-saving in many extreme situations. Just think of lost people or a natural disaster such as fires, etc. You always see helicopters flying around going to the rescue. Helicopters can turn in any direction very quickly and require a very small space in order to land, which makes them ideal for when there's an emergency. Or, if you're a millionaire and you just want to go somewhere fast. Let's see our list today for the top 10 most insane helicopters that you may or may not know about. Number 1. The CH-47 Chinook The CH-47 is among the heaviest lifting western helicopters and owes its name to the Native American Chinook people of Washington State. It's a transport helicopter, and its primary users are the U.S. Army, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, and the Indian Air Force. The first flight of the CH-47 Chinook took place on the 21st of September, way back in 1961, and it was originally designed by the American rotorcraft company Vetrol and manufactured by Boeing Vetrol. The CH-47 Chinook is an American twin-engine tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter reaching a top speed of 170 knots, which is 196 miles per hour or 315 kilometers per hour. It's used mainly for troop movement, artillery placement, and battlefield resupply. At number two is the Augusta Westland AW-139. The AW-139 is developed and built by Augusta Westland, which is now part of Leonardo. This is a 15-seat, medium-sized, twin-engine helicopter and is marketed on several levels, which includes VIP and corporate transport, offshore transport, firefighting, law enforcement, search and rescue, emergency medical services, disaster relief, and maritime patrol. Although its first flight happened back on February 3rd of 2001, it was only introduced into service in 2003. A true multi-tool, the AW-139 is the number one influential product of Augusta Westland. Number three is the MI-28N Night Hunter. The MI-28N Night Hunter, apart from having the coolest name, is a modern attack helicopter designed to carry out search and destroy operations against tanks, armored and unarmored vehicles, and enemy personnel in combat, as well as low-speed airborne targets. The onboard equipment supports flight and navigation in favorable and adverse weather conditions at low and extremely low altitudes with overflight and automated obstacle warning systems, firepower use day and night in favorable and adverse weather conditions. When targets are identifiable visually and by using technical means and effective communications equipment, these helicopters can execute aerobatic maneuvers, which makes them not only impressive to look at, but also extremely helpful when the situation calls. The KA-52 Alligator and the KA-50 Black Shark are at number four. Another one with a cool name. The KA-52 Alligator is a twin-seat variant of the KA-50 Attack Helicopter, which has the even cooler name KA-50 Black Shark. They are Russian attack and scout helicopters manufactured by Komov. The first flight of the Black Shark happened on June 17, 1982, while the Alligator took to the air June 25, 1997. They're currently in service, and their primary users are the Russian Air Force and the Egyptian Air Force. The production of the attack helicopter was ordered by the Soviet Council of Ministers on December 14, 1987, and the KA-50 is the production version of the V-80 SH-1 prototype. Number five is the AW-101 or EH-101 Merlin. Another Augusta Westland helicopter that we feature on the list is the AW-101 EH-101 Merlin, and it's a medium lift helicopter used in both military and civil applications. The first flight happened on the 9th of October in 1987 and was introduced much later in 1999. Its primary users are the Royal Navy, the Royal Air Force, the Italian Navy, and the Royal Danish Air Force. When it was introduced, it replaced a lot of other helicopters, some of which included the Sikorsky Sea King. And in August 2012, it was reported that Algeria had signed an agreement with Augusta Westland for the provision of up to 80 helicopters. 42 of those would be AW-101s. 
the Merlin can fly at a maximum speed of 309 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest helicopters in the world. At number six is the MI-35M. The MI-35M is a large helicopter gunship, attack helicopter, and low-capacity troop transport with enough room for eight passengers. It was developed by the MI Moscow Helicopter Plant and has been series produced at Rosfortal ever since 2005. This mean-looking helicopter has a maximum speed of 310 kilometers per hour and an export variant of MI-24 Hind attack helicopter. It offers a more superior flight performance and maneuverability compared to its predecessor. The Brazilian Air Force signed a $150 million contract with Rosaborn Export for 12 MI-35M helicopters in November of 2008 and started using three of them in April of 2010. Number seven is the Eurocopter X3. The Eurocopter X3 is more of a work of art than a helicopter, and to prove we're not just saying that, you'd be surprised to know only one was ever produced, and it's currently a museum exhibit, and has been since 2014. The Eurocopter X3, or X-Cubed, is an experimental high-speed compound helicopter developed by Airbus Helicopters, formerly Eurocopter. On the 7th of June 2013, the X-3 set the unofficial helicopter speed record, hitting an extreme speed of 471 kilometers per hour. Number 8 is the AH-64D Apache. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American four-blade twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It was manufactured by Boeing Defense, Space, and Security since 1997, while in the time between 1984 to 1997, it was manufactured by McDonnell Douglas and before that by Hughes Helicopters from 75 to 84. Its first flight happened on the 30th of September 1975 and was introduced in April 1986. Its primary users are the United States Army, the Israeli Air Force, the Egyptian Air Force, and the Royal Netherlands Air Force. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems, and it's armed with a 30mm M230 chain gun. Number nine is the MIL MI-26 Halo. The MIL MI-26 is a Russian heavy transport helicopter, which can be operated by both military and civilian operators. Halo is the largest and most powerful helicopter to ever go into series production. Its manufacturer, Rusfortal, and it took its first flight on December 14, 1997, while it was introduced in 1983. Its primary users are the Russian Air Force, the Aeroflot, the Algerian Air Force, the Algerian Air Force, and the Indian Air Force. The MI-26 was designed to replace the earlier MI-6 and MI-12 heavy lift helicopters and act as a heavy lift helicopter for military and civil use, having twice the cabin space and payload of the MI-6, then the world's largest and fastest production helicopter. Number 10 is the NH-90. Last but not least, the NH Industries NH-90 is a medium-sized, twin-engine, multi-role military helicopter. It was manufactured by NH Industries, and its first flight took place on December 18, 1995, but it was introduced in 2007. Its primary users are the Italian Armed Forces, the Bundeswehr, the French Armed Forces, and the Australian Defense Force. The NH-90 has the distinction of being the first production helicopter to feature entirely fly-by-wire flight controls. And as of July 2020, it has logged the impressive number of 254,671 flight hours in the armed forces of 13 different nations. Well, there you have it. That's the top 10 helicopters you needed to know about. Did you like any of them in particular, and if so, why? Tell us about it down in the comments, and let us know if we missed any that you'd like to see.